Manipur indulges in the spirit of Gang Ai festival with traditional purba, pom and gaiti. And non miscreants hurled one hand granite at highly protected Accountant General AG office in Babupara this afternoon. And Trav FC registered first win after defeating Neroka FC by 2 0 in I League's first ever Impal Derby at Kumalam Park Men Stadium. Kurumjari, good evening. You are watching Wednesday Primetime English News on Impact TV. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with you. Our top stories this evening State level celebrations of Gangai, a post harvest festival of the Kabui community, which falls on the 13th day of Wakching, as per Manipuri lunar calendar, are being held at various places today. State level Kabui Gangai Celebration Committee, Manipur, under the aegis of Manipur Kabui Union organized the men Gangai celebrations on the theme Kabui Gangai is the cultural integrity of Manipur at Sawungbung Kabui Kunjau today. Celebrations began with traditional rituals of the Kabui community. Speaking at the inaugural event, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Kalam Sham assured that the state government will strive towards preserving indigenous minorities of the state. He calls upon everyone to encourage Kabui community in maintaining their desires to stay true to its unique culture. Minister Karam Sham reminded the attendees about the ancestral ties between the Kabuis and the Mites. He said different traditional attires and culture distinguish people in the state from one another, but all are children of one mother. Minister Sham also assured that Saungbum SDC and SDO office will be shifted from Porompat to Lamlai in the near future. Arriba sana bi ngang na sapa sa, adi sokot pagi kudam ni sokot pani ay ba sa ako itunggi mirol sing na kang batar kar uwi niyo. Arriba sana bi ngaga tambas na ay koy identity hingga doy ni ay ba sa ay koy narol sing na kang pam doy. Aduna kabui gumba zati na tholak na ay koy di kabui wina lejage kabui wina horak kibni ay koy identity ngang na hingga ni ay ba wapam sa masi ako ituding mo na kang pam doy recognize to pam doy and grace to pam to ever. Pikpa purup zati karena nabo kena bekanda ngasih giga mena matam supaya mui kita muda lepi thong lau na hangna lagi ayam aje aje kanglup zati karena nabo kena bekanda wakai ngang naga kui masel gigi merak ter simsek haba nungsi nada nabo wangang sangang di ngasih gigi mirol na taning drive bese leaders ing na kang bagi matam oire. Speaking at the event, President of Manipur Kabui Union, Dr K Hira Kabui, appealed to the state government to save the Kabui community from those who are trying to annihilate the community. He also negated one Zelengrong leader's claims amid during a TV discussion that Kabuis have been replaced by Inpui and Rongwei. Dr. K. Hira Kabui said that the Kabuis are not Zelengrong and further claimed that Zelengrong is just an organization. He stated that the Kabui communities uh, through ancestral history and traditions should not be misinterpreted. Performances of traditional dance and songs by Pakung Fan, Leisha Pan and Mo Fan adorned in their traditional attires and holding of grand feast were the main highlights of festival. Members of civil society organizations of Manipur and Mera Pai Bees also attended the first day of the festival. They brought seasonal fruits and vegetables as gifts on the occasion. Manipur Kabui Union Lady Haibashe. Adugi Matakta, all Manipur Kabui women organization, Tom Tokoramni, Lady Haibashe, Kambio, Kabui Union, Kabui Union Lady Higani, Manipur Leba Kitamakta, Kabui Lady Haibashe, Wafa Mama, Chena Samdege. Kabui sarang mai bebo lebar masa nak kau pi bagi apa? Kabui sarang mai bebo kau muda tadi kau betul be kau nak kau pun betul itu nampak. Aduk kabui mampu tadi menipu mangi hanya lawan ini. 
Zalengrong Union, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland also observed a 25th state level Gangai 2020 at their head office in Kakulong today. Speaking to media, President of Zalengrong Union, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland, Amu Kamai said, Zalengrong Union has been organizing the state level Gangai celebrations since years. He expressed disappointment that separate state level celebrations of the festivals are being held. Amu Kamai said some organizations in their strive to gain political mileage lead to such situation. Post Harvest Festival of the Zalengrong community, the Gangai, also known as Chakang Gangai, is being celebrated with traditional, traditional and religious fervor and gaiety across the state. The biggest festival of the Zalengrong community is being celebrated mainly by the followers and devotees of Tinkao Rakwan Chapriak. Meanwhile, people of the community also drew the attention of the authorities concerned to resolve the prevailing issues over holding of the state level Gangai celebration. Impact News brings you a special report. Jalerong proof ki weba kwa diki chau ba kung may mo oiri ba Gangai Festival ng si Manipurshin ba thuna pang sa na pang tukli sa hi horok pa madi ari ba sa hi loy kiba ani gin lang dahil pang tuk pa amadi lakad tori ba sa hi asidan nungay ka ba sa hi mo oiri ba wakalonda at chau ba sa lain ang mga loyan na numit mga ane chau ba pang tuk ka tori ba kung may asida hausi hausi mag kwa di infal may old lady ba ka kung ka ba ikulda festival si karam na pang tuk li ba gay amadi mo kwa na karam karam ba wapon din talang pagay habtan miyeng tamay si Kita kau ki saya memahami le deh. Kamu ngasih saya gangai oleh berita positif ke amci lagi. Positif tu itu apa yang akan ada situ dah hand lagi. Adum cang hai tarik ko. Adum mahuk saya mahuk saya ko mai hai tu nikah. Adu handak ti istilah celebration tu semua mungkin tarap ni na. Tu itu na lang wukar pasu udre si dah. Pangtung ni baku mai si kau mai na hujek kau ki acau pasal yang mungkin demak aku long kul manung dah miam na kau lambi dah putok laga cak thong mungkin dulu mami ini miam na ubiri pasi hujek miam na ubiri pasi gangai pangtung ini si kau jodoh miam si thong lang ti miam si. Oh, masih loin nama kau ki nupa pan nupi pan hai nak kaidoi baku ini. Gangai ini. Adu nama masih yang maru ay. Saya mendah murak kau ini thok puni. Pangtui buku mai saya, masih maru ina kerana bawa kelon dan pangtui buku mai no, aduga mengani pangtui heaven seperti kahwin ada. Maru ina buku mai sih kita menunggu lagi di buku kita nunggu atas dengan sekali kali no itu. Aku kerja jadi anak buah lak pa, aduga sih kita amade ahing pa, ani lak pa saya masih buat ina aku kerja kengai celebrate tu heba. Apa di lawu balu heba kan sih dah lawu log pa kau pa, maya ampol laga. Harau tu na jamin thamin na ba, lain na ko asih gombe sih koi sehi ko dingke sumpang tuai ba. Ada amarom da amuk asih ba, hai na asih ba isu, ekoi ke sini dia maruai ba. Masih ni misi dia asih ba, sih ke maruai ba, magi maruai ba nampin ni. Hai budi masih, ekoi na hingli ngai pah budi, ekoi na mukoi hoji hai ni ba asih ba sih, ma hingli hai na dum leh ni ba. Kang itu na, ada na masih ni misi, gangai sih luar kan da, masih dum luar kerja puni. Ada nama yang am loin nama pun sih nak ni apa? Asang muka asang dah bagi gumbel itu ni. Asang muka kamu dah matam matung itu promise yang kaki thok magi pom kara itu ni. Umara bukti itu lagi itu muka kamu gitu magi lusin itu ni. Before jempan bukti dah ke firu itu ni. Jadi ubi ni pasi hari bercak lain nasi. Kalian cami ni kat sini pun ni miam. Jadi ubi pang ubi ni pasi kaki kulnya itu ada kulnya sih kaya itu sah thok tu na. Acau buat salah ni, mungkin lang buki. Ya, buat thong ni sih kaya macam ni. Thong ni sih kaya ni, ni kaya oksa ni. Macam kang asumsi amat thong ni sih kaya, sih thong ni sih kaya. Kau ni macam cari rumah ni. Hari ni 
ชีดมซาเลยปอกเดี๋ยวมาเคยมาเทนทุ่งบีนี่ชิบ่ออกซานเนี่ยชีเซอะราวด์ฟอร์ตี้เคจีไว้เนี่ยค้างออกมาจ
sana nonton ibah pun tak beli pun tak sih kasih tu. Adu mang kerja di jati itu layre yang nak buat hamil tu. Adu nak buat kerja mana? Ibah pun tak beli pun tak sih kasih not culture. Maya jokat bah pun nak jati esok pun papa. Amadi kalau pun jadi pun papa. Ina pun bah culture ni amal jati ni nak buat lomai. Adu bunga sih dek mana pun itu kan tu kan bah jati esok nak. Lebih pun jati kerja macam sih. Ibah pun tak beli pun tak sih kasih tu. Nombor nombor yang mangsa kita minta masih mangsa untuk set pagi kita menanti atau naik hamzah ni. Ethno Heritage Council Herikon and the press release greeted Kabui brethren on the joyous and auspicious occasion of Gangai Festival 2020. And non miscreants hurled a hand grenade at the gate of Accountant General AG office in Babupara. Located next to Manipur Police Headquarters, which is under tight security this afternoon. Impact News sources said two unknown miscreants came on the bike and threw the hand grenade at around 2.30 this afternoon. Imphalwes SP Megachandra and other top officials immediately arrived at the site for investigation. Later, Manipur Bomb Disposal Squad arrived and recovered the bomb safely at around 3 p.m. There are no clues to the perpetrators yet. Police has registered a case against the incident and investigations are underway. A combined team of proscribed Revolutionary People's Front's Army, People's Liberation Army and Manipur Naga People's Front's Army, Manipur Naga People's Army have claimed that they attacked the Fort Assam Rifles camp at Kongtal village in Chandal district at around 6.30 p.m. yesterday. Casualties were reported from the site. Publicity secretary of the two proscribed group in the press release further claimed that a reinforcement team of Assam Rifles from Sajik Tampak was also bombed by a team of PLA's 252 mobile battalion and Manipur Naga People's Army enduring Assam Rifles personal in the second attack. 24-hour nationwide general strike called by central trade unions against alleged anti-working class policies of Prime Minister Narendra Modi late BJP government affected business transactions in Manipur. Shops in Pauna and Thangal markets were shut down except for few street vendors. Vehicle movements were also restricted. Though there is no report of any violence so far, state government has taken preventive measures to avoid any untoward incident. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring news on a combined team of 12 Assam rifles and Moray police seizing heroin powder worth around 3 crore rupees on Imphal Moray Road. We'll be back with the details after the break. You're watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Wednesday Primetime English News on Impact TV. A combined team of 12 Assam rifles and Mori police have seized one kg of heroin powder worth around 3 crore rupees from two miscreants on Imphal Mori Road. Impact News sources said the team caught them fearing the contraband drug in Eco Van at around 6 p.m. yesterday. The arrested persons are 35-year-old Malnung Haugzalian Zo, son of late Zamkakang Kab Zo from Kurao Pokpi, under Machi subdivision of Chandal district, and 30-year-old Lunkolan Lungdim, son of Thangkugin from Kotlin 5 village, Palil. A team of Kokching and District Commando arrested a man in possession of 10,000 pieces of WY tablets at Sora Kunuta Chingjil yesterday at around 7 p.m. Their miscreant is 37-year-old Yung Lama Setlung Maring, son of Y Mofun from Langol village under Machi subdivision of Technopol district. Upon interrogation, Yung Lama Setlung Maring has confessed that one Weko Mero from Futsero in Fek district of Nagaland, who is currently working at Chandal Christian Hospital in Chandal district, handed him the contraband drugs at Palil. Acting on a confession, police also arrested Weko Mero yesterday at around 8.30 p.m. from Chandal Lamkai. 
NDPS has registered a case at Kakching Police Station and handed over the two arrested miscreants along with the seized drugs to Kakching Police Station. Thaubal District Police Team, led by SP Dr. S. Bomcha, has arrested a miscreant involved in a major drug haul from Tripura. It may be recalled that Thaubal Police, along with the locals of Pogdel Kairenbi, arrested a man in possession of WI tablets worth around 470 lakh rupees from Thaubal Wangkim Muslim Mamang Laikai on August 24, 2019. Impact News sources said, acting on a confession of the arrested miscreant, the Thaubal police team left Imphal for Tripura on January 2, 2020. With major assistance from the Tripura police, the Thaubal police team managed to arrest one 38-year-old 38 Biman Das in connection with a drug case on January 4. Thaubal police team has brought the miscreant to Imphal for interrogation. National Students' Union of India, NSUI, Manipur State, in a press release has strongly condemned the attacks on students and teachers inside Delhi's prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University campus on Sunday evening by Mark's goons armed with sticks and stones. Founder, director, come CEO of Birla Emporium Private Limited, Yumnam Irabanta, appealed to people not to lose faith in IRA Finance Private Limited, which is under Birla Emporium Private Limited, as the finance company has obtained a new registration under the Reserve Bank of India. Speaking to media at the office of Birla Emporium's Private Limited in Kurai Chungambam Laikai today, Irabanta said that IRA Finance Private Limited started on a very small scale by registering itself to the Ministry of Small Enterprises. He said, IRA Finance Limited is no longer a small-scale company as it has gained people's trust and has also acquired a new registration. He said, the finance company will continue its public deposit system. Equity India ki oina Reserve Bank of India hai bodi RBI ki makada finance body mo oibri na adu kisu registration equity hazik already lakh re equity RBI ki non banking financial company his status lakh sir hai adu ka equity na phange ba status se ata inate public NBFC ki RBI ki status tu nilai se adu na hazik hazik ki RBI ki new mayamam su lai bani na hazik equity ki era finance private limited hai na laser ma pochi sarbotam fincap limited hai na lai RBI da adu ka RBI ki policy ki matungi na magi ano uba notice sa equity uh, Sarbotam Fincap Limited, Hibasi Equina, Ira Finance Limited, and Laksaragani. Duna Hana, Lanomsi Labour Singa, Puning Langtuk Naba, Singable Labour Singdo, Hajiti Luna, Father Viro, Aduga Equi Atu with the RBI next, Gazetta Equira Finance Private Limited, Hibapose Equi, Ira Finance Limited, Hidena, La Agani. Elected members have allegedly misappropriated funds sanctioned under Pradhan Mantri Kishan Samand Nidhi Yojana for 40 beneficiaries of worth number 551 and 5x2 under Thaubal Mojing Panchayat, Thaubal District. The beneficiaries appealed to Chief Minister N. Biren and other authorities concerned to look into the matter at the earliest. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, one beneficiary, Mohammad Ayub Khan, alleged that Ward members Mrs. Akebi and Mohammed Nawaz Khan have misappropriated funds meant for the beneficiaries under Pradhan Mantri Kishan Samhand Nidhi Yojana and they did not even bother to clarify the matter. Beneficiary Nipu Mukki Pradhan Mantri Kishan Samhand Nidhi Yojana Ghi Bank account of Changjarakwa Paisasi Member Kharana Mistress Akebi Amasung Mohammed Nawaz Khan Hairiba Mioi Makwe Ni Khakta Na Te Atopa Mioi Shing Member Khara Amasung Yauri Hairiba Singa Sina Beneficiary Masadagi Chalak Tauraga Hairiba Beneficiary Singa Sigi Changjarakwa Paisasi Singa Si Makwe Na Aikwe Lupali Singa Mari Changak Paisasi Da Lupa Chama Chama Khakta Ni Makwe Na Beneficiary Amamamda Pithorak Lammi Pa Paisasi Manipur Sarkarna Iskimsi Ki Makada Bank Account Singa Changa Iba Paisasi Beneficiary Masa Masa Makta Phangan Bina Na Bagi Dhamma Sarkar Ki Mieng Lai Talai Raba Singa Si Bu Kokhan Na Na Bagi Iskimsi Thadar Iba Paisasi Masa Masa Da Yohan Bina Na Bagi Mieng Sang Bina Na Bagi Dhamma Hai Jari 
Proscribed Kanglek Park Community Center People's War Group Mogjud Center has claimed that center groups are abusing their name. Secretary of Central Media, coordinator of the group, Lenin Mite, in a press release said, leaders of these dreadful groups were former members of KCCP War Group Mogjud Center, Lystrom Mongol alias Lamyanba Kuman and Ngangom Soviet, Elias Chinkai Nganba, who have already surrendered to the government. He also said that these dreadful groups have been harassing aspiring politicians, teachers, students and then service providers of Janet Academy, Sangai Paro and Catholic schools in the state. He accused the state government of empowering the surrenderies. Temporary repair of roads and culverts at Babukhal, Sabughat and Boroikhal began today under the initiative of Vice Chairman of Manipur Food Industries Corporation Limited, K. Sarat Kumar. Speaking to media, K. Sarat Kumar is short of completing the project before the school in Babukhal starts its new session. He appealed to people of Babukhal, Sabukhat and Boroikhal to extend their cooperation and monitor the ongoing works. Jiribam SP M movie accompanied him. Sky Hospital and Research Center Rims Road will organize week-long heart surgery camp from May 3rd to 9th this year. The game will provide health care facilities to children under 18 years from the entire Northeast states. Registration for the camp will begin tomorrow at 9 a.m. Speaking to media at Sky Hospital, Hospital Chairman Dr. Sham Kishor Ladik Yangbam said that Sky Hospital will organize the heart surgery camp along with United Kingdom based Healing Little Hearts and Manipur Heart Foundation. He added that a team of 10 specialists of pediatric cardiac surgeon, pediatric cardiac anesthetist, pediatric cardiac investivist and permufficionists from healing little hearts will treat the children in the camp. Dr. Sham Kishore asserted that the camp is being held for the third time after successfully conducting two camps earlier in March and November last year assuring that preference will be given to children from BPL families in the camp. He appealed to people of Manipur and other northeast states to avail the opportunity. We are expecting more and more children born with one heart defects from the neighboring states of northeastern India because such facilities is not available in many northeastern states of India. And this time probably 50% of the, the patients to be operated probably will be from outside the state of Manipur. Having said that, this, this is based on first come first serve basis. We will be giving priority to children belonging to BPL families and economically weak sections of the society. I appeal to the people of Manipur and the northeastern state of India to avail of such opportunities because such opportunities do not come again and again. Of course, our partnership with little, with Healing Little Heart United Kingdom started in, in March 2019 and it's the beginning. We will continue to provide such camp at least twice a year. And we also, our own CDVS Open Heart Surgery program is going on. And in, in addition to, of course, other, other services, other interventional cardiac services, other all cardiac care services are continuing in Sky Hospital. Journalist team of Thobal District Journalist Union reached Meghalaya's East Kasi Hills District, Bola Ganj, yesterday. It may be mentioned that the journalist team left Manipur to trace Manipuri diasporas outside the state on January 4. They were accorded a warm reception upon their arrival in the Mite village under Chirapunji's subdivision inhabited by around 150 Mite families. Speaking on the occasion, President of Thaubal District Journalist Union, Soibham Binoy, said that their visit aimed to reconnect with Maitai brothers and sisters who were dispersed during the seven years' devastation in the history of Manipur.
Manipur's Blue Band musical team, comprising of 29 artists, left Imphal today to perform at Bisgaon Manipuri Festival 2020 in Bangladesh. Bisgaon Manipuri Festival Committee will organize the festival at Chunarughat Habiganj in Bangladesh on January 10th. Secretary of Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur comes social and cultural activist Rakesh Naurim led the musical team. Poirei Ithiba Lob Peel Singjumai Yumnam Laikai in a press release informed that rice, vegetables and fruits offered during the 30th Imoinu Ima Ira Thauram organized by the organization yesterday was donated to Yaibirin Children Home Kaibi in Imphal East today. Now the sports news. Trau AFC registered their first win after defeating Nerok IFC by 2-1 in the i Lakes first ever Imphal Derby at Kuman Lampak Men Stadium this afternoon. Around 23,000 football enthusiasts came to witness the historic match of the ongoing 13th i Lake season. Both the teams scored one goal each at the first half. Nerok IFC led the game after their striker, Bobakar Shiaka Diara scored one goal at the ninth minute from a ball passed by the defender Oshman Diawara and for Trau FC, striker Ngangbam Naucha scored their first goal at the 40 minute of the match. Trau FC's striker Krishnananda scored another goal at the 63rd minute of the match by heading the ball passed by Trau FC's midfielder Wahengbam Angosana. Trau FC will again log horns with Neroka FC on February 8. Prior to the match, Neroka FC will meet Real Kashmir FC in their home match at Kumalambak Men Stadium at 2 p.m. on January 14. Ex Polo Club Wankai and Thaubal Polo Club emerged successful in the third junior boys under 16 state polo tournament today. In today's second match, ex-Polo Club Wangkai beat Thangmaiban Polo Club by 3-1. For the winners, T. Dinesh, T. Vikash and Herojit Thokpam scored one goal each. While in the third match of the tournament, Thobal Polo Club dropped K. and M. M. Riding School B. Sinjumai by 6-1. For the winners, N. Kiran Kumar scored three goals, Pamhewa Thangnaucham scored two goals and O. Shitalzi scored one goal. Seven polo teams from the cross state are competing on a no card basis in the polo tournament held at Imphal Polo Ground under the aegis of Old Manipur Polo Association. Polo Club will again play ex against ex Polo Club Wankai in the first semi final match of the polo tournament on January 10. Jiri Police Trust JYC Gerald Pogpi by 8-0 in today's match of the ongoing first Moirangtheim Jodish Chandra Memorial Invitation Football Tournament 2020 organized by Old Juribam Sports Association AJSA. Singharbon FA will play against RYC Ramgai Jang in tomorrow's match of the tournament. 16 teams are participating in the tournament which kicked off at Jiribam Higher Secondary Playground on January 3rd. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur indulges in the spirit of Gangai festival with traditional fervor, pomp and gaiety. Unknown miscreants hurled one hand grenade at highly protected Accountant General AG office in Babupara this afternoon. And Trau FC registered first win after defeating Neroka FC by 2-1 in I-Lake's first ever in Paul Derby at Kumalampak Men's Stadium. <laughs>